Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, today, uh, SHS training session. So we will uh, learn only one, maybe one or two feature in the SHS, which are very, very useful or which you will find useful after the session. So I will start for sharing the screen. Okay. Uh, I hope everyone has the SHS uh, in front of the their machine in, in the machine working working and I request everyone that you also do simultaneously after me or whenever I'm doing it you can also do it so the, maybe one two features we will study today and which are really may you will you may find it really useful in your practice or in your daily use of the Synergy program. Uh, first of all, I will just give you the brief introduction, very short. So those who are new, they will find it something new, uh, something exciting it. And those who have already attended the previous sessions of training, I'm sure the, you will also learn some, something new today in the features. So this is the Synergy Homeopathic software, uh, how it looks, the preface of the program. Uh, Synergy Homeopathic software has most of the repertories available in the visionary edition. So why the software required? Because most of the time in, in homeopathic practice, we have a difficulty in converting patient symptoms into rubrics form, or maybe we are so confused with so many repertories and material medicas available. So which repertory to refer when patient is in front of us or depend on the case, which repertory to refer or which repertory to use and how the rubric selection in the case, maybe the physical symptom, maybe the mind symptom, maybe the characteristic symptoms, general symptoms. So that's why we require the tool in homeopathic uh, practice. So Synergy Homeopathic software is the very, very reliable. Most of the practitioners all over the world, they use the program Synergy software. So Synergy software, you will find repertory module, you will find Materia Medica or the reference library. You will find direct search uh, options from the both Materia Medica as well as the repertory that I will show you today. Uh, and uh, many more is there. So basically, uh, those who already have the program is well and good. And those who are interested and uh, they don't have the program currently. So for them, I will just guide briefly how to get the trial version. Synergy Homeopathic software uh, gives you the trial version for 15 days. So first you have to log in to the synergyhomeopathic.com. And there you have to go into the option software and there you will find software overview, synergy homeopathic software and then different editions. And at the end, you will find visionary plus free trial. So you have to click on that option and it will navigate you to the steps that once you follow that steps, it's very easy. Uh, you will receive the email with your ID and password, ID most probably your email ID and the password you will get. So those who get the email immediately in their inbox, that's well and good, you can log in and use the trial version. But I have seen in few cases, the email doesn't go directly into the inbox. It goes either in the spam folder or in the promotions folder in Gmail. So in that case, you have to first find out does email from the Synergy Homeopathic and then log in instead of doing the forget password. So this is the better option. Just be little careful about it to get the email and how to check it in your spam folder. So this is the uh, SHS Synergy Homeopathic software. Uh, I'm sure you must be using it since few days, maybe few months, maybe few, few of the are from maybe one, two, three years. So left hand side, you will find all the repertories. 
reliable, buri, fatal, complete. So there is one option that, as per your choice, you can uh, follow the repertories. Like I want a buri repertory at the top, so I can refer it immediately, or fatal repertory at the top. So you can do that settings. So to, how to do that settings? Those who are new, uh, I will show them once. So go to the user and there you will find preferences. In the preferences you go and there you will find repertory settings. In the settings you can select the repertory which you want to be at the top or top in the list. Suppose now reliable, bori, fatak and one more repertory I want to add and that repertory is uh, near repertory which I use very frequently in my practice. So this near repertory and say save. So when you click on the save button, the program gets in uh, re-indexed and you will find now reliable Bori, Fatak and near repertory at the top on top in the list. Okay. Now uh, last week I have received few queries from the users and they had uh, a very prominent uh, very frequently used the query was how to search from a single remedy uh, for the single repertory or the single materia medica or maybe the set of rep uh, repertory and set of materia medica uh, if you have used this feature then you can please message me yes no or you want to learn about it so i can brief more about this feature am i audible yeah Thank you. Thank you. Very good afternoon to everyone. Not yet received the software. Dr. Rahul, yeah. So better you go to the website and there you will uh, find a trial version visionary edition. The visionary edition free trial is uh, available. Except complete repertory, you will find all the repertories and books there. Even vital quest module also is available in that free trial version. It's a 15 days. It's valid for 15 days. You can do it now. It will take hardly 5 minutes, 10 minutes to get that program. It's a browser edition, basically. You need the internet to use that program. And it is valid for 15 days. Okay. So, when you open the program, you will find here, left hand side, uh, the tool palettes and at the top of the program you will find the patient management first option uh, patient management um, is very important in shs we have the option to save your cases the clinical cases not only the cases even follow-ups also you can save and you can refer different uh, follow-ups uh, with date it automatically saves so it's very very useful uh, if time permit, I will show a uh, second feature is of patient management. First, we will go to the search option. So today, uh, search option in SHS. Okay. So first, search from single repertory or set of repertories and the second one is search of the symptom from reference library with single book or set of books. I hope this is clear now. Ignore the spelling mistakes. Sorry for that. Okay. So how to do this? Hello sir, please explore advanced search module. Yeah, Dr. Grinnell, I will. This is advanced search only. You will find it. This is advanced search only. Okay. So there are two options. One is you will find here when you open the preface of the SHS, you will find here the view settings. 
After that, there is the filter option, filter on repertories. And when you click on any repertory, you will again find the same options with view setting and uh, and apply filter to on report. So why that it is it has mentioned at two, two at two different places because when you do a filter here, you can filter any repertory. But once you select any repertory, for example, reliable repertory, I, I have selected, and when I go into the mind section. There I cannot go to different repertories, but in the same repertory I can search up, search as per the author, the kingdom, the remedy wise. So this is the difference. Means if you are looking here and searching for a particular repertory, then you can uh, restrict the program from this setting, from this filter, and if someone wants to filter not only for one repertory but for a particular remedy or kingdom or particular uh, section then you can restrict from here so this is the two different differences uh, i would like uh, to show you that the restriction from uh, main preface is for uh, all the repertories and restriction for single repertory you can do it by selecting a particular repertory or you can enter into the repertory and then you can do the restrictions from here because this is a confusing many times and uh, i received the query that i don't know how to search from a particular repertory or how to search from a particular materia medica so this way you can search uh, you can filter for the complete shs program both library as well as repertory i hope this is clear if any doubts you can ask me uh, dr hemal i will show that also how to add rubrics in clipboard valid question but very basic i will show that also while demonstrating this this feature i will show you the how to add rubrics or symptom into the clipboard suppose i want to search a particular set of uh, symptoms of patient only from boric repertory so how will i go instead of going here for repertory restriction you go here apply the filter or search of search search filter there you will find option repertories and reference library so these two options means either you are restricting the repertory program or you are rest restricting particular reference library book so here i would like to restrict the boric repertory so i will go to the repertory option and i don't want to restrict to a particular author i don't want to restrict to particular kingdom i don't want to restrict to particular remedy or section so first i will select a boric repertory and patak repertory because in my practice i prefer both the repertories whenever i want to uh, refer that particular symptom of the patient so i select both the repertories now how will you come to know that, that only two repertories are selected and not more than that so you you can see here the other option view select only so when you take a cursor it will show you view select only and when you click you will find here only two repertories are selected and then you press uh, you click here on the apply how will you come to know that now the, it is uh, restricted to particular two repertories because this color has changed this pink color demonstrate that the program is restricted okay now uh, two three symptoms i randomly took for example alopecia in spots so this symptom i would like to search only from patak repertory and boric repertory so alopecia within three words many of you have the doubts when to use three words when to use two words so i will try to explain that also so the patient has very prominent symptom 
alopecia in the spots. And now I want to search these two, these particular symptoms from two repertories available. I hope you are getting it. And when I search from this option, this is a reference library and these are the repertories. So what happened? Alopecia in the spots, the rubric is not available in either boric repertory or fatak repertory. That's why it is completely blind. Blank. The program doesn't have the rubric. That's why it shows a blank page. So don't worry. Whenever you find this result not found, that means it is not available in that particular book or repertory that you have restricted. Now I will go to reference library and in the reference library I can see there are 51 remedies and 124 references. That means in the whole Materia Medica at 124 instances this alopecia in the spots is available out of 51 remedies. And now I can see here the remedy name alphabetically from the section either mostly in the repertory it is mentioned in the head chapter or in some of the books in the cases case form and here is the book from which it has come now i don't know what is this awcas so you take a cursor and in the bottom line you will find the remedy name the section from where it has come and the book name for example this arsenicum Arsenicum album from the head chapter of Kent's reverse repertory. So it is mentioned in the Kent's repertory head chapter Arsenicum album. And one more thing I would like to mention here you will find when I click on that particular symptom, you will find here the rubric directly in the book reverse repertory. And there you will find this 21, 6, and 3. So what does it mean? There are 21 remedies in that rubric. Out of that, six remedies are of same gradation as per the, the arsenic of album, along with the six another remedies of same gradation. And three remedies are of higher gradation than the arsenic of album. And you can find here the rubric is underlined. That means it denotes that in the repertory, arsenic album is a two marks or two gradation. In that rubric. And when you find your hairs affections of painful when touch, arsenicum album is a three marks remedy in that rubric. So it is very, very important the reverse repertory, not only the reverse repertory symptoms, but this is very important. You will find it the unique feature in this program so that it will show you what is the importance of that remedy in the rubric. Uh, I will go back to the query and now instead of taking this symptom, I will take another symptom. For example, um, menses within three words, nose within three words, bleeding. So nose bleeding during menses. And you will find here only uh, no, Fatak is missing this uh, symptom, but Boric has this symptom mentioned about menses absent with nose bleeding or the cause is nose bleeding. Whenever the patient has, the menses are not there or absent, the patient start bleeding from nose. And this is the very, very important symptom in bryonia and phosphorus, hemamelis and lachesis. These four remedies, I know it very, very important symptom or this four very important remedies for this particular symptom. Okay. Uh, I hope you understood this one thing. If still you have any doubts, you can ask me. Uh, I would like to demonstrate you again if you want. Now, 
a feature, uh, I, re I received a query from Dr. Hemal, how to add the rubrics in clipboard. So doctor, uh, I just close this chat uh, window. Uh, for example, reliable repertory, I would like to go into the abdomen. I will randomly select any rubric. For example, this adhesion sensation of. So we'll find here plus sign. That means there are sub rubrics available for this particular main rubric. As well, you will find here seven. That means that number of remedies mentioned in that rubric. So those may find their program is not showing number of remedies. So you can again go back here, change view setting. And here, click on this option, remedy count. So it will guide you number of remedies in that particular rubric. Very important for me. And I think it is important even for you also. Okay. Uh, in between, there was some network problem. So how to select the rubrics? So you just go to that particular uh, rubric, you select it and just press the enter button. When you press the enter button, the rubric gets selected automatically. Another rubric I will take, for example, aneurysm, and there are only three remedies, aneurysm in the abdominal aorta, most probably. So this barita mule, sickle core, and barita gum, very important. And specifically for mesenteric artery, the sickle core is the remedy. So, another symptom is band around. The patient has feeling that band around the abdomen. Just enter and the rubric will be selected. When rubric gets selected, you get this notification, new rubric added. And if you buy by mistake, add the same rubric again, you will get notification that rubric is already present in the clipboard. So don't worry, it is it, it is not going to be duplicated again and again in the same clipboard. Cirrhosis of liver, there are 107 remedies. But when you go to the sub rubric, you will find very few rubrics and very few number of remedies. Especially in jaundice, you will find zero. That means no remedies available. In drunkards, only seven remedies available. I would like to take this symptom. I hope this is clear how to select the rubric. You just have to go there and select, uh, press the enter button. You can do it right now. And if you feel any problem, you can send me on chat box. If it, if it is working for you. Okay. Dr. Himal is using first time. Okay. No issues, doctor. You can start using and you explore it slowly, slowly about the program. So I hope this one feature, uh, how to do this. So I would like to take Another feature now, instead of uh, taking uh, boric on and fatak, I will take reliable repertory as well as near repertory. Only four repertories. And I will take, uh, I will apply again the uh, filter. And now whatever I am going to search, so sorry, if I am going uh, very fast. So see, you can find here another option, search in. And in the search in option, there is one option is repertory and another is reference library. So, if I don't want to search from reference library, I can remove that option. And now the re it will be searched only from repertory and not the reference library. Another example I will take, like test want in Coriza. It is very frequently the patient I found in the Coriza patient suffering from Coriza cold. Test within three words, want within three words. Coriza. See the exact symptom is patient uh, lost the taste or patient won the taste during Coriza. So when I'm searching in the search option, you can't put all the uh, words. Select a very few 
important characteristic symptom uh, characteristics words of that symptom and not the complete symptom here and when i click on the search option i, I can find in the reliable repertory magmur is the very very prominent remedy in all the rubrics available natramur and magmur you will find and i have verified it most of the this is my confirmatory symptom in coriza patient if i want to prescribe natramur or magmur most of the time the patient loss of taste i found this symptom this patient don't have the taste sensation during this coriza symptom very important another is in patak again single remedy magmur and medorinum smell as well as taste you will find magmur okay still any doubt you can ask me message me here another one is cough yawning alternately cough bending ameliorate you will take that symptom cough bending ameliorate so it's very very important see what happened now during practice in acute cases especially if you observe a particular symptom and if you want to search in the repertory or materia medica it's very important in shs if you can put that symptom and you get the results most of the time you will get a very good hint about that remedy or the similimum for the patient it's a very important feature i like in every case i always use the reference library search as well as repertory search so cough within three words of bending within three words ameliorate so patient has this symptom in the cough that if he bends then he feels better and when you search again in reliable repertory you will find eupatorium perfoliatum it forwards ameliorate and cough bending aggravates forward ameliorate another group of remedies but eupatorium is the common in both bending head ameliorate forward eupatorium bending aggravates and forward ameliorate again eupatorium so another symptom paralysis with apoplexy so this is again most of the symptoms what i am taking are clinical symptoms paralysis with apoplexy i have no clue which remedies are mentioned in the repertory but see i have selected only four repertories otherwise i would get so many searches so i will search from that particular four repert uh, repertories and i can find here in patak only seven remedies mentioned one of the important is arnica and belladonna as well as zincum so patient gets unconscious apoplexic attacks before the paralysis the whole scenario happens and the patient goes in first apoplectic state maybe the internal hemorrhage is in the brain and after that he develops the paralysis so this scenario is very important in this case of pathology or the paralysis another repertory mentioned nair and it's very important has given calibromium after mental exhaustion paralysis with apoplexy or in vertigo will find again calibromatum so calibromatum in paralysis with follows congestive paralysis approaching apoplexy in eyes you will find plumbum metallicum lids paralysis dropping of the eyelids in apoplexy again plumbum matter so very very important very important remedies are mentioned by kinair repertory so these features are really really useful when you are looking for a clinical symptom a sure shot physical characteristic symptoms i would recommend you to search once from this kind of repertories or this kind of rubrics you should search so you will get a good hint for the patient similimum 
I'm not saying you should prescribe that one remedy which is mentioned in the rubric, but that can be a very good hint for your totality of the patient. After all, we have to prescribe one remedy with the maximum symptoms covered. And there are the different feature functions available in this tool which lead you to that similar. Okay. I will again go back here and I will remove the restrictions. So just click here and you will find restrictions are removed. Now, instead of searching from repertories, I would like to search from a particular Materia Medica. Like you might be facing these difficulties that I don't want to search from the 100 books, but I want a particular five books or any particular author's books. So you can again go here, filter option. And instead of repertories now, I will search for the reference library. And in the reference library, I would like to select a books of old author, for example, Hearing Guiding Symptoms and Condensed Materia Medica. Another one is Clark's a Dictionary, which I prefer most of the cases or most of the pathological cases. Though Clark has mentioned many books, he has written many books in homeopathy. Another one, I like Allen's Encyclopedia. Alan's Keynotes, it's a very favorite book of mine. Another one is Borik and Bogar. I prefer a lot for Borik and Bogar, both. Bogar. Now see, I have selected so many books. Now I want to say, uh, see how many books that I have selected. Because it's very difficult. When you are selecting two, three books, it's okay. You can see it. But when you are, your list is long, like 10, 15, 20 books, so it's difficult to remember which book I have selected. So again, you can go here and ask to see which books I have selected. So remember, dear friends, this feature is very important. You can select n number of books, but you should know which books I have selected. So have a look before you do a restriction. And suppose you want to remove any particular book, you can just click there. It will be removed automatically. So you can see here, randomly I selected few old author's books and apply. So again, you can see here there's red marks. That means the field is restricted. And now instead of searching in the repertory, I would like to search only from reference library and only from that particular books. Now another feature, uh, sorry, another symptom we will take, for example, Cuff within four words, yawning or yawn or yawning within three words, alternate. So patient is yawning and cuffing, yawning and cuffing. If you are doing a, any spelling mistake, the program will show you, uh, it will highlight the red in red, the spelling mistake word. So this yawning alternate. I have no clue which remedy will come, but this, this is the important symptom I find in the patient. And when I click here, so certainly it is not going to search from repertory this time, but it will search from the books which I have selected. And you will find here Antim Tart. So best option is uh, take a program. You take a cursor here, and you will find here in the bottom of the uh, bottom line the name of the remedy from which section it has come and from which book it has come and the bogar synoptic is the only book i remember where i found this symptom that cough and yawning alternately and it was a very beautiful case of a patient a uh, hardly two year old child and she recovered very well from the cough symptom you can say within few doses, two, three doses, within one day, two days, it was a magical result. And you will surprise to see in the repertory, it is not mentioned in the cuff chapter. If you open Kent repertory and you will find this symptom, you will not, you will not get it easily. Cuff and yawn alternately. It is mentioned by Kent repertory in the sleep chapter, not in the cuff chapter. So better way if you have a tool, 
you can search it and it will give you the searches in fraction of seconds. Another remedy is natrum mure mentioned by Allen's encyclopedia. But see, read, sorry, before you prescribe, read the symptom. And how to read? Now, I want to read this symptom from Allen's encyclopedia. So, I can double click here and it will directly open into the Allen's encyclopedia and say cough and tickling in the larynx on waking at 2 a.m. He always expectorated considerable frothy mucus. The inclination to cough was increased by lying on the back, yawning alternated with the cough. So, very important, very important. But understand the scenario, at what scenario the patient is getting aggravation of the cough or alternating with the cough. So, I hope this feature will help you in the practice and see I can show you few examples. You can utilize this feature in more and more symptoms in your cases, in your patients. So my job here is to just show you this feature is available or exist in the program and then how to apply it or how beautifully you can apply in the patient's symptom or in the cases that you have to do it. Because everybody has different, uh, everybody has a different view of using that particular feature. I use it in this way to search from the source books, to search from the material medic of old literature. Somebody might have uh, the option to search in the repertory. Someone might have the option to search in the reference library. Or as you can search from both the options. See, if I do search of the same symptom, so, how will I come to know the old symptom? This, this is the query I received most of the time from the users of MAC repertory because it was a feature mentioned that you can go back to the old symptom. So, dear friends, it is available here. If you click here on the search history, you will find the searches what, what I have performed in last 10-15 searches. And if I click here again, I don't have to type and it will be selected automatically and when you search here now you will find it in the murphy repertory in the complete repertory but again see in the sleep chapter again in complete repertory in the sleep chapter not in the cough chapter in the reliable again in the sleep chapter so if you are looking in the kent or complete or reliable repertory in the cough chapter you will miss this symptom So this is the beauty of this program that you can search not only from the repertory but also you can search from the reference library. And now when I click here on the reference library that already I have shown you, the reference library is limited, restricted to a particular number of books only. Not to the complete set of books because if I remove the restriction and I search the same uh, symptom, I may get 20, 30, 40 remedies. If you want to see, I can do that also. See, I will remove the filter and the same symptom now I will search from the reference library all the books and you will find four remedies. So, surprisingly very less number of remedies. New remedy addition is Naxomica and Bryonia. But if you take a symptom like earlier we had take apoplexy within three words of paralysis. So you will find the same symptom from the, when you searching from the all books available, there are 131 remedies. And dear friends, it's very, very difficult now to go to the 131 remedies and check for your exact patient symptom. So if you are able to restrict the program to particular few books or few repertories, it will ease your task. So I hope I am able to elaborate that particular feature of restricting the program and this time I have restricted only for the books and the repertories but I have not shown you how to restrict for the author or how to restrict for the kingdom or how to restrict for the remedy. Suppose I want to search a particular uh, remedy, uh, sorry, I want 
I am sure that this remedy is for this patient, and I want to search now few other symptoms which are not available in the uh, repertoire totality. So I can limit the program to particular remedy, and now I can search the symptoms, and if it includes in that repertoire, it will show me. In very short, I will show how to do that. For example, this remedy. You click there and you will find a remedy. I will select a polycrest, for example, Naxomica. And I will uh, select only single remedy, not the all, and apply it. And now you put any symptom here. For example, a very common symptom we will take, like fear within three words alone, within three words, uh, dark. Very simple search. And you will find here in the reference library there are 54 remedies and in the repertories not found sorry i think the restriction was not to the maxonica so i will do a again i will restrict it to the naxomica and not for repertory sorry it was for repertory so instead of repertory, I will search for uh, restrict to reference library, the Nux Omega. And now all the searches in reference library will be on Nux Omega only. So it is not mentioned in Nux Omega. Sorry. So fear and being alone. You mean I search here? I can find Nux Omega was mentioned by these many authors in their books. For example, reliable reverse repertory. Nair's repertory, uh, another one is hearing guiding symptoms and now I want to read from the hearing guiding symptoms. So how will, I, how will I do it? I will just double click on the hearing guiding symptoms and I can now read the complete paragraph from this hearing guiding symptoms. How this symptom develop in the patient which is mentioned by author in very detailed manner. So. Okay, I hope I am able to explore the small but very important feature that restricting a particular book, restricting a particular set of books or restricting a particular repertory and search for the symptom. I hope it is useful or you will explore it. Uh, sir, please explain how to put these three, four numbers in search. Yeah, yeah yes, Dr. Akruti. Uh, we have to add these three, four numbers every time. Yes, most probably every time. Uh, okay. Why of three number? Fine. How to see sub rubrics, Dr. Katyani. Okay, fine. I will take you to my uh, slide and most probably you will get your answer here. See, in some books, such as Allen's, Allen's Encyclopedia, every symptom is on its own line. So that means you will find in one line symptom in the Allen's Encyclopedia. Whereas in Kent's lecture, you will find a complete paragraph of symptom. The one symptom is mentioned in complete paragraph. Whereas Herring has mentioned the information clearly separated into two sections. For example, like I remember Dr. Sarkar used to say, if you are reading Kent's lectures and if you are reading a one paragraph, that means you are reading only one symptom. So one symptom in one paragraph mentioned by Dr. Kent in his book lectures. The Allen's keynote, one symptom is mentioned in one line. That means if you are reading a one line, you are exploring the one symptom of that remedy. And if you are reading a Bori, uh, sorry, Boger, uh, Boger synoptic key, that one word itself is a complete paragraph in Kent's lecture or a complete one line in the Allen's keynote or Allen's encyclopedia or the hearing guiding. So this way, why three words, four words? So I will show you why not three words and four words to use. Uh, sorry, why to use and why we should use it in every uh, symptom. Suppose a very simple way, fear within three words of dark. When I put three words and I do search here, in specifically reference library, you will understand there are 282 remedies. And if I remove these three words and just a space, and now I search here, 
you will find in the reference library there are 202 remedies so tremendous difference of the remedies so what happens here why to use three words and why when to use when not to use three words see fear and dark suppose we go into a paragraph here And you will find here openness, fear, dark, fear, death, fear, spiders, fear, ghost. So here fear and dark, they are just next to each other. And suppose I put three words. That means in a paragraph, if there are fear, in between there are spiders, fear, ghost, sensitive noise. So you can understand here ghost sensitive noise and again you just imagine fear is here uh, sorry dark is mentioned before the weeping that means in between fear and dark three words are ignored so if you put three that means three words will be ignored between these two important words if you put four that means fear and dark in between four words will be ignored if you put two that means fear and dark in between two words will be ignored. Two words means the another irrelevant two words. I hope you are able to understand now. Why two words, three words, four words? There are eight words also, but it, it is not going to help. Three word is the one which can help you immensely in the search option. So always better to use two words, three words combination when you are searching as one symptom. And suppose I am searching for two, three symptoms together, then I have to use the combination of paragraph, section, remedy. For example, the patient has this fear of dark and craving for chocolate. So these two symptoms cannot be available, most probably not be available in the same line in the book. That's why I, I have to use here same remedy. That means I want a remedy where one symptom is fear of dark and another symptom is desire for chocolate. Again, three words, desire for chocolate. Desire within three words of chocolate. And when I search here, definitely repertories are not going to give any clue or any result for me because repertories are not meant for to combine of two sections because in repertory, if you look, fear of dark is mentioned in the mind chapter at the same time, desire for chocolate is mentioned if you are referring Kent, then in the stomach or else in the generalities for other repertories. So these two symptoms I have together and now I have 116 remedies that have this symptom of fear of dark as well as desire for chocolate. For example, you, will, you take this particular remedy, for example, this ammonium cup. So ammonium cup has desire coffee, chocolate, sweet, sour, tobacco. And in the ammonium cup, with another book reference, has this fear of darkness. So you find it, two different authors has mentioned. One has mentioned about desire for chocolates and another has mentioned of fear of darkness. And that's why ammonium carb is in our search because maybe the books are different, but the remedy is same. That I need a remedy who has this symptom as well as that symptom. So if you need, definitely next Tuesday training, I can uh, explore more about these two words, three words, four words, when to use sentences when to use section, when to use remedy or combination in the search option. I can explore, explore that. So I hope this was very, very helpful and you will explore it more in your practice and your feedback, your thoughts, your cured cases are welcome. And we will share together so everybody can learn from everyone. Because in our practice, not a single doctor is seeing the patient similar fashion with the other one. Because everyone's 
fashion of prescribing is different. Everyone is different in their prescription, in their mind, in their thought process. So everybody, the same feature, maybe junior doctor can use it in a different manner and a senior one or those who are more in looking for different searches, different the same remedy from different angle, they can use the same feature for different purpose. So the features are there, but it's up to us how we use that. So that was the message that I want to convey today, how to explore this particular one feature in your practice. Thank you everyone, your feedbacks, your Whatever your suggestions, your thoughts are welcome. We would like to get that feedbacks, your suggestions, so we can Im implement again in our next upcoming sessions. And uh, definitely we all together can grow and learn from each one. Sorry, those uh, questions I cannot answer because I wanted to focus on this particular feature today. Maybe you can email me, WhatsApp me, uh, so I can take your particular questions in next session. So if you want to WhatsApp me, this is my number, 9930850033. WhatsApp as well as uh, signal messages, both are available. If you want to, send me on email, you can email me srikant at the rate synergyhomeopathic.com. This is my email ID. So if you want to ask any queries, any doubts, please message me, give your suggestions so we can include it in, in our upcoming next week session. Okay. See, I need a response from you. How will I come to know that it's okay for you? You find it useful, you find it boring. So please message me, you can send a feedback and uh, all your suggestions are welcome. Those have learned some, maybe one feature today, I find, uh, I think this is, uh, the whole lecture was useful if you are able to learn at least one feature from the SHS, okay? And yes, very important, those who don't have the SHS, they can have it, the trial version, they can take it from the website and use it for 15 days. So for next sessions, if you want to join, better you beforehand, you should have a trial version with you, okay? Uh, I think I should stop now. And uh, have a good day, have a good time. And next week we will again meet same time on Tuesday, 3 p.m. Okay, thank you very much.